What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Just Chris. And today, we got a video from Replicant Fish, all right? And the title is, Be His Muse. She makes you want to be a better man, but do modern women want to be better for you? I want to give a shout out to my brother, Wolf Song for suggesting this video. If you see him in the comment section, give him a W, all right? Now, before we get to the video, guys, make sure you got yourself some water. As you can see, I got a gallon. I'm trying to drink a gallon of water a day, and I challenge you fellas to do the same thing, all right? Not only so you can stay hydrated during my videos, but so you can take your daily real pill. Now, fellas, also, make sure you got your masculinity badge equipped. If you don't have your masculinity badge equipped right now, I don't know what you're doing, all right? Shout out to Replicant Fish. Let's get into the video, all right? Make sure you guys put hashtag masculinity gang in the comments, all right? Let's get into it. Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. Let me explain. Men express themselves emotionally through sex with their significant other. We express ourselves through talking with our significant other. That's why they complain we talk too much and we complain that they want it too much. And I hope Facts. you're focused and on your square. So women say we as men want it too much. And we as men say women complain, nag, and just talk too much in general. Yeah. So the point of this somewhat random one today is... Be his muse. She makes you want to be a better man. But do modern women want to be better? For you, for us, for men in general? Think about it for a second. For many modern Western women, being better women for men is not really the goal, is it? It's not yeah. really the thing. They'd probably right. call you a pick me in that case. But being better women for themselves, of course, yes, of course, it makes sense. Being selfish, it's all about me sort of attitude, okay, all right. Now we will get to the video in a moment, Miss Olivia Alexa's video. Her video is titled, How to Keep Men Happy, Six Easy Steps. Ah. Now the interesting thing is, I could not find a video based around this topic specifically. A woman saying how to be his muse. Now of course you can find videos saying how to be his inspiration, how to inspire a man. Disgusting. But none really focused on the muse aspect. And obviously, yes, I want to explain some interesting things in this as well. Obviously, yes, there's a sexual element in it as well. Throughout history, many muses that men have had, obviously, they've probably slept with them as well, more than likely. Not in every case, but in some. And I have a few interesting cases I want to show you today. First, the word. Muse. Damn, that's epic for no reason. Muse. Okay. As a verb, to muse is to consider something thoughtfully. As a noun, it means a person, especially a woman, who is a source of artistic inspiration. Interesting. So obviously as a verb, you know, to muse about something is to consider or think about something or, or ruminate. Yeah. And you know what, fellas? You know what I think of when I, I think of muse? Um, I think of the term that Kevin Samuels came up with. Uh, FBI, feminine, beautiful, and inspirational. And unfortunately, a lot of women... In our society, in the westernized woman especially, that femininity is not really there. Yes, they're still a woman, so they, they look like a female, obviously, right? But they don't act feminine. They don't have feminine traits. They have these masculine traits, which then it just it turns us men off, unfortunately. And what it creates is like if like a man's not gonna want a masculine woman, a man wants a feminine submissive kind understanding loving uh uh uh, uh a caregiver that's what a that's what a man wants and unfortunately we don't have instead of women being our muse women want to argue with us women want to be argumentative and combative and and non-submissive and that's not what us men want that's not what men desire man doesn't a man wants peace from a woman and unfortunately, a lot of women don't bring peace to men. And that's why a lot of men are saying, you know what? Honestly, I don't want to be in a relationship. I don't want to do this. What's the point? I don't want to get married. What's the point? You see the you see the the laws and stuff against us. It's just like everything is against a man. And it's sad that it has to be like this, all right? The ponder. Yeah, you can use it in that aspect to muse about something. So if someone says to you, oh, you're thinking about something, you look like you're in deep thought. You say, no, ah, me a peasant, please. I'm musing. 
far more sophisticated than just a mere thought. Please, come on. Yeah, you don't have to be that extravagant, but you can show off. But the main part, obviously, is a woman that's inspiring <laughs> and uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And can or should you try to make this your woman? A muse. In mythology, the muses were nine goddesses who symbolized the arts and sciences. Today, a muse is a person who serves as an artistic inspiration. Often filmmakers talk about a certain actor being a muse, meaning the actor inspired a movie. Writers, mm. painters, musicians, and other artists have muses. Muse can also refer to thinking deeply. If you muse about something, you're giving it serious thought. You can't muse in five seconds. No, please. Peasants. <laughs> Seriously. People muse on certain ideas for years. For years. And think of all the artists, musicians and whatnot that have had muses and use muses to obviously make their work better. Then some can ask a question, but are these men just using these women up? Just using no. these women up for their source of influence and inspiration Absolutely and then leaving these women as husks, empty husks of women. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's true. I'm going to share some points with you in a moment. We're talking of Muse, the band Muse. One of my favorite songs, The Knights of Sidonia. That song is a, I'm going to break something sort of song. Like, yeah, I'm going on a mission to break something or just, yeah, I'm going to F something up. I'm going to proper F something up <laughs> sort of song. Well, it's probably just me, but yeah, it's a very, it's a very energetic song by Muse. And going from Muse to another artist, New York rapper Nas, who has a very interesting line. In his song, We Will Survive, from the I Am album, the song being a sort of dedication, sort of story about his relationship with Tupac and Biggie and other artists. But at the start, he says, to quote, we used to R&B bitches to see who was sickest. Now, as a young man, I think I was about 18, that blew my mind, like, wow, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Muse. Are you telling me that as a rapper, if you sleep with chicks that are R&B singers or that can sing, it will make your skills as a rapper better? What? <laughs> Obviously, I was a young man. That blew Insane. my mind. Wow, really? But, whoa. Hey, should I try it? Would it really work? Now, obviously, you can say that's very quite you know rude saying oh by sleeping with certain women it can make your artistic skills better give her the day but then again it does lead to the point of a muse does it not doesn't it have a look at this from salon.com so i think it's probably a woman's website oh god and i think this is a sort of dear jane letter one written by a man by carrie tennis must i choose my wife or my muse interesting I rely on other women to fuel my creative growth. How do I resolve this with my marriage? That's Hi, Terry. I seem to have this pattern where I am able to perform at a high level and with confidence, interesting point, only when I am driven to prove myself to women. Damn. Part alone itself is powerful. Speaks many words, doesn't it? We can talk about the great things men have built. At the same time, yeah, how many men were inspired by the women they had in their lives to build such wonders. I'm just saying, so even if women aren't direct muses, in some cases, some women, some, if they're decent women that actually care for you, you hope, they can actually inspire you to want to be a better man and in some way prove yourself as a man to women, which is something men do all the time. It's bullshit. part of a man thing as well as a mating thing as well to mm -hmm. kind of show off to chicks, so yeah. But carrying on, these imaginary relationships are powerful, poetic and beautiful things, and the passion for them spills over into my work, my spiritual practice, and my general sense of well-being. When I cannot maintain them vividly in mind, I become quite tentative, unconfident, self-disparaging, and scattered. Interesting. This man has a wife, yet even with a wife, he still needs the energetic, artistic energy, if you will, from these other women. Now, in this case, he's not banging them, he's not sleeping with them, but just their presence, the thoughts of them is enough to drive him and make him thus so creative. But this one's weird because these women have no idea that they're muses. But I'm using this one to paint a picture of 
the obvious thing of just how some men would just of just how far some men would go just to be inspired by women and because just a lot just a lot of men are i must add that these women are real women friends in most cases whom i cannot approach because of distance or mainly because i'm married so this these women could be through the internet this is so really it's, interesting it's one of those sort of things as well the obvious problem with this pattern which is a deeply embedded part of my creative self is that it's playing havoc with my long-term marriage and this destabilized relationship is not good for either of us or our children so he's got children as well wow that's well, that's not good a quick question is this a form of cheating is it and if women would say this is a form of cheating the question and title permits can you be his muse do you understand how to and why you can or you know what it makes a lot of sense now guys because let's let's think about it if we if we truly think about it if we go back in the 1800s back in the day a lot of men were inspired by the woman because they want to do better not only for her but they want to do better for their children and the next generation of men and women so in a sense women are supposed to be inspirational and what the article is pretty much saying what the guy is talking about is that do I choose a muse or do I choose a wife? Because his wife is just his wife. He's not, she's not his wife and his muse. And that's the problem nowadays with women. They, not only do they want to be a wife and not want to put the work in uh, to, be, uh, uh, to be a wife. They, they just want to take all the benefits of being a wife. Not put the work in, not be a, a FBI, feminine, beautiful, and inspirational. Shout out to Kevin Samuels. They don't want to do any of that. You know, and a, a lot of men are inspired by their woman. Now, is that simping? No. But that's what men want. And unfortunately, men, we're not getting that. So now we have this huge disconnect between men and women. Women want to be independent and selfish. And men, they're still thinking, we're still thinking traditional like we're still having that traditional mindset, you know, be your girlfriend, you want to marry her and stuff like that. Most men have that mindset or just have a girlfriend, you know, uh, uh, be the provider. A lot of, excuse me, a lot of men have that mindset. And unfortunately, women are not on the same page. And that's what creates this huge disconnect. And now women think that they have this, they, they're so envious of us men because they can't do what we do. They can't really go around and sleep around. Like that's that's not really healthy for the feminine body, right? Nor is it really healthy for a man, but a man can get away with it because a man can still, 30 years later after he's done being a bachelor, he can still go find a wife. He can still go have kids with, with the woman. That doesn't really affect him on the sexual marketplace, but in a woman, and a woman's body, that affects a woman because us men, we look at women different that have been around. That's a fact. So I'm loving the way that um, Replicant Fish is really explaining this. And hopefully it makes sense to you guys as well. Or should be his muse? Though I don't really think your girlfriend or your wife should be your muse. I'm just saying, but do women understand that? Considering there's no videos on it, I doubt they do. My wife and I met physically after a long period of correspondence where she was then the object of my projection. Oh God. Yeah, he was lost. We married quickly after meeting. The immediate problem in our marriage from the very beginning was that most of our infatuation was, was based on projection. Mm. While we share some solid basic values, my wife took it as her mission to bring me down to earth, to make me socially normal. Interesting. Mm. While I saw my mission as liberating her from conventional fixations with the hopes that we might conspire together on a greater social mission. Seriously, that's trash. Okay. So at one and see, point, and see pretty much what he's saying, I'm going to break it down for you in a simple way. When his wife is trying to make him normal, that means that his wife is trying to change him and trying to change who he is, his personality, his hobbies, his belief system, you know, because a lot of times us men, we like to have um, our woman on the same page as us. Most of the time, we like our we like our women to believe in the same, have the same morals as us, 
believe in the same things as us, if you're religious, if you believe in God or whatnot, whatever your values are, you want to have the same values as um, you want your woman to have the same values as you do, because that just makes everything way much better in a relationship. And once once women try to change men, they end up resenting that resenting the man that they changed them into and that they molded them into. I, women do this all the time. They like to change men, and then as soon as they change him, as soon as the man folds and changes and do and does everything she says, then she ends up losing attraction. She ends up losing respect for that man. So anytime a woman asks you, oh, I don't like the way you dress. I don't like the fact that you have anime posters on your wall. I don't like uh I don't like the fact that you have a Kobe poster, a Kobe poster. I don't like the fact that you were a champion. I don't like the fact that you wear a cross. I don't like the fact that you believe in God. I don't like the fact that you wear a Stussy hat. I don't like the fact that you wear YouTube wear YouTube videos and play video games all day. As soon as she tells she starts to change you, that's when you put your foot down and say, No, you either take me how I am or you, you got nothing. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to change me. Or if she doesn't do if she if she's if she's like, oh, oh, you don't want to change for me, I guess you can have me, then you leave her. You say, you know what? I'm done. Simple as that. Do never let a woman change you, fellas, ever. When they first met, she was his muse. But then it faded. Interesting. In the end, I flew off in my mind. While she stayed stubbornly rooted, becoming increasingly disappointed in me, the more I disappeared. Wow. So in some way, this guy was so... falling deep into himself creatively to kind of avoid his woman as well and find his creative musings. <laughs> Wow, that's that's sad. Very a brief sad. side note. Some of my celebrity muses, two lovely women, Miss Sade and Miss Kate Bush. Oh my God. Oh my God. But it's not just a physical thing. It's the creativity as well. For how creative these women are and how much they evoke a certain level of creativity. Obvious Sade classics. Cherish the day. No ordinary love, obviously. And smooth operator, to just name a few among the many she has. Sade, of look, course, Sade you know, is bad course, though. Of course, you know. Okay. <laughs> Just like me, yeah. Bullshit. Oh uh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, okay. And then Kate Bush. She's crazy. Who some would think is crazy. No, this woman is amazing. From again, obvious classics, running up that hill, cloud busting, and one of my personal favorites, between a man and a woman. But with all the talk of us as men being infatuated with women in terms of creativity and how, yes, it's about sex again, because as men, we've got to always think with our knobs. But it's more than just the sexual thing. It's also the inspirational thing. It's probably more the inspiration than the Lex. sexual thing as well. It's just as men, you know, some men will just try to sleep with anything. But it is more the creative energy the inspiration how there's something special about her that many women don't have have a look at this okay this is from an american tale five or goes west it's an interesting part of the movie yes it's obviously a kid's movie But this part here, even from a kid, because they played this endlessly, endlessly on British TV. But this part here caught my attention as a child. Because this cat, he's the villain, the bad guy. His main mission was to trap the entire town of mice in a big, giant mouse trap, basically. And there were just food for him and his cat buddies. Just a big, giant mouse buffet. Now, none of the mice stood out. There were just food, except for this moment here, where he found a muse and it messed him up. But look at how lost he is. Look at his face. Make note of the look in his face. I'm going to show you again with another famous artist shortly. He's supposed to be a bad guy. Turned into a big pussy. <laughs> and we'll leave it there. To him, she becomes the diva. His inspiration, so much so that at the end, she thwarts his plan to eat all the other mice by, you know, standing on the trap. And he's like, no, no, the diva. And then, you know, <laughs> he messes up his own plan. But to go from that look on the cat's face, look at him whimpering. Bad man cat, please. Whimpering over a little mouse. But remember that look, that lost, dreamy-eyed, lost look.
Remember it. And here is that look again by world famous artist Andy Warhol. And who is he admiring? Oh, his most famous muse, Eddie Sedgwick, if I've said that correctly. But look at the way he's beaming at. Look at that. Look at that. He's lost. He's, he, yo, he's lost. Now listen, now listen. Let's not lie. Hey, hey, everybody up in the comments. Y'all was looking like Andy Warhol looking at looking at the girl, you know what I'm saying? Looking at your uh, your girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? You're one of your exes and whatnot. Hey, this month used to be all of us. Let's keep it real. Women are supposed to be feminine, beautiful, inspiration. They are inspirational for the most part. Now, are, are modern women of today inspirational? Not really. Not a lot of them. Majority of them, unfortunately, suck a bis thuck of the spirits but listen it is what it is that's what they're supposed to be feminine beautiful inspiration they're supposed to be your help man they're supposed to be submissive toward you they're supposed to be supportive all right and since we don't have that unfortunately a lot of us men have to do our own thing it is what it is but replicate fish is speaking facts every man has their muse